Sam from Sheridan Computers. I just want to take the time to discuss a cheap network card, a cheap 10 gig network card. Uh, you can get them off eBay for around the £50 mark. I've tried quite a lot of 10 gig network cards recently in uh, a lot of different operating systems and I've had compatibility issues between hardware, between software. Uh, I've had heat issues. Some of them just run stupidly hot. Um, I pulled one out of a computer the other day and literally left burn marks on my fingers because the uh, heat sink was that hot on it. Uh, they're just nuts. So the one I've found is the Intel X520 DA2. It's a dual port 10 gig network card. In fact, we've got it here. As you can see, it's dual port. It is passively cooled, but it gets nowhere near as hot as any of the cards that I've used. Uh, this is a half height card. Now you can get these with both half height brackets and full height brackets, so they'll fit into pretty much any system that you want. Compatibility wise, I've tried them with uh, CentOS, I've tried them with FreeBSD, I've tried them with Ubuntu. Uh, we've got them running on Windows Hyper-V machines, we've got them running on FreeNAS, uh, we've got them running on XCPNG, we've got them running on OpenStack. It just seems to be the most compatible card that I've found. I've not had any um, compatibility issues with the um, DAC cables that you plug into them or anything. It's a really good, solid, cheap network card say that you can grab off eBay for around the £50 mark. So this is a card, Intel Ethernet Network Adapter X520 DA2. Um, so it was launched in quarter three of 2009, which is why you're able to pick them up. Uh, they're aimed at servers, obviously, being um, 10 gig. Cabling type, SFP plus, direct to tap, twin actual cabling, up to 10 meters. Um, supported operating systems, Uh, Windows 32, Windows 64, open source, um, so it supports FreeBSD, Linux, Red Hat Linux, Ubuntu. Um, they do have quite a re wide range of support. I say I've not had any issues with um, doing these at the moment. So it's dual port configuration, uh, data rate 10 gigs per port. It supports Intel virtualization technology for connectivity. Uh, speed and slot is um, Five giga transmits a second over eight lanes. Uh, giga transmit is like 500 meg, give or take. So over eight lines, it's uh, 40 giga transmits, which is like four giga second. Um, PCIe version two, so five giga transmits a second. Uh, got on chip quality of service control, traffic management, flexible port partitioning, uh, virtual machine device queues. Uh, PCI SR ILV capable, um, power management technology uh, and supports offloading, storage over Ethernet, iSCSI, FCOE and NFS. So if you're looking for a cheap 10 gigabit network card, Intel X5, X520 DA2 is a card that you want to go for.